Hi everyone, this is gonna be update number like 10 or 11 maybe to my, no, I'm sorry, I started it over at the beginning of this year. So it would be update number six or seven. Anyways, um, it'll be right in the caption. So this is my favorite video to watch and film. It's pan those eyeshadows. Um, all you do is randomly generate an eyeshadow palette from your collection and then randomly um, pick a shadow from that as well. That's how I do it. Right now I do have six palettes in um, because I usually have five palettes and one single shadow, but I decluttered some of my single shadows, so I need to rewrite my list. So I just don't have the numbers for that right now, so I'm just doing palettes. Um, next month I will have it right though. Okay. I did hit pan on two eyeshadows this month, which is super exciting because that means two new um, palettes. Okay, so I have my thing pulled up here so I can tell you how many times I used it. First, and the one that's been in here for several months uh, was a super hard one. This is the Conspiracy Palette by Jeffree Star. It's one of these huge like briefcase looking things. It's a huge palette. Um, here is what the palette looks like. This is my only Jeffree Star palette left and you're like, where's the pan? It's right there <laughs> in um, spiraling. It's like a charcoal shimmery gray. And if you can tell by that tiny little like sliver of pan, I did use it as an eyeliner and there was like a week or two where I used it every single day. So I got really good use out of it this month. And you can tell I like wore away the triangle pattern that was there. Like you can compare it to these other ones and see that the pattern's almost gone. Um, so I used this a total of 41 times. Someone warned me in my last video that these take like 50 uses. And yeah, I was pretty close to that. I could guarantee if I didn't use this as an eyeliner, it w I would probably have not hit pan by 50 uses, probably more than 50. Because, I mean, you touch it and it's enough powder for both eyes. Like, it's crazy. Especially, like, this deep shade. But, yeah, that's spiraling. So, let me give it a swatch. There it is right there. It's like a charcoal gray shimmer is definitely what I'd call it. There it is. 41 times to hit pan. Yep, super pigmented color right there. And let me wipe this off. So that one will be rolling out, which is nice because it took up like half of my drawer. <laughs> okay. Um, next one was from the Glam Light Hershey Kiss collection. This is the milk chocolate palette. Um, here's what we're looking like. So you can tell which one was in this project. It's this gold shade down here at the bottom. They don't have shade names, um, but here's what it looks like. You can see the massive dip in there. They must have pretty deep pans because it keeps going and going and going. <laughs> Glam Light shimmers are beautiful though. I am wearing it today, but I kind of have something topped on top of it, but it's this like very warm toned, like gold shimmer. Look how pretty that is. Glam Light has one of the best shimmer formulas I've ever used. But as you can tell, like, look how crazy that is. That's a lot of pigment. Um, as you can tell, no pan yet. I have used this one a total of 18 times. So I don't know, maybe five more uses or so. I have no idea. <laughs> I feel like I've used it more than 18 times, but. Anyways, um, next is the other one I hit pan on. This is the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. Um, I only hit pan on this like three days ago, but I went on two vacations 
and this is the only palette I took on both of my week-long vacations. So for two weeks, I was using this eyeshadow as an eyeshadow and a bronzer. So this one took 33 uses to hit pan on. I probably could have expanded that pan, but as soon as I hit pan on it, I was just kind of tired of this eyeshadow palette as a whole. Um, but I did use this shade in the middle several times, this shade several times, and this shade like at least 10 times. So there's a big dip on that one too now. But this is called Lovely Bunch. It's just a very nice, neutral, extremely good like crease shade. So, let's see. There it is right there. This color story went together really well and it's kind of like the um, color story I'm wearing right now. But yeah, that one will be rolling out. Next is one from Essence. This is the Dancing Green palette. If you can see this, by the way, um, I saw someone's video where they used clear nail polish on these palettes that have stuff that rubs off on them. So like up here, it used to say Essence. And right here is a full disco ball and it was like chipping off. And I don't like that because I like cute packaging and I want my packaging to say what it is. Like if I wouldn't have put clear eyeshadow over this, I mean clear nail polish over this, it would have been rubbed off and it would have just been a green rectangle. So <laughs> I know it doesn't look the best, but I like it better like that. Um, this is the da Dancing Green palette, and the shade I got is called Night is Young, and it's this bottom middle shade. It's so hard to show the dips on these, because it does have a big dip. <laughs> um, yeah, just this dark, like, forest green color. I have used that one 11 times. Um... But yeah, this one's really nice quality as well, even though these eyeshadow palettes are like four bucks. Yeah, and actually when you blend this one out, you can tell how green it is. It doesn't even look green on the swatch, but it's very green. This one I use as an eyeliner a lot as well. But yeah, we'll see about next month. It does have a big dip, so I'm not going to rule it out as... Like a pan for next month. Okay, next one is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Dr. Seuss collab, and this is the Green Eggs and Ham palette, so it's a very green toned palette. And believe it or not, the shade that's in here is this green one up top. So when I swatch it, it gets like hard pan, but when you use a brush with it, it chips little pieces of it away. So I haven't used this one much. Um, I've used this one six times. Even though you'd think it's a really easy, like wearable shade, especially with this color story. It's like greenish gold. Um, I just haven't worn it a bunch. I don't know, for some reason, I don't even like pull this palette out much, even though it's in my drawer with all these other ones. Here it is right here. Um. Yeah, I just haven't pulled into it much, so maybe this month I'll get more use on it than six times, but that is it right now. See, when I swatch it with my hand, it gets like hard pan. But anyways, next is, and lastly, is another ColourPop palette. This is the Blue Moon palette, so it's a blue palette, which I was super excited about because I have a bunch of warm tones, and I love colorful eyeshadow looks. So I was tired of all these super neutral looks, but here is what it looks like. And you probably can't even tell what shade is rolled in here, but it's the second one at the top. It's called Da Badi. Um, you can see the little brush strokes, maybe a tiny dip there in the middle, but I've only used it four times. So the fact that you can see any progress progress is nice. I know why you can though. It's because it's a super powdery 
like super powdery shade and when you brush it on your eyes it kind of disappears see so you have to like layer it several times even with a brush to get it to really see what I mean show up so when I do use it I dip into it several times there we go that's as good as it's gonna get you can see how bad quality it is next to the other swatches but um, I was just happy to get a cool toned, um, fun shade in here. So yeah, that was only four uses on that one. There'll be progress pictures at the end, by the way. Okay, so two are rolling out and it's going coconuts and the conspiracy palette. So I have my eyeshadow list right here, and I have a random number generator pulled up on my other phone. Um, and I have 157 palettes. By the way, I had almost double this two months ago, and I did a humongous eyeshadow palette declutter and collection video, so you can see all the palettes like I have in total and the ones I decluttered in that video. Um, yeah, it's a really cool video. It's definitely worth the watch, but... 157 is what I'm going to generate between, um, it has six up there, but it was already on there. So I didn't generate that. Let's go ahead and press it. 119. Okay. I guess I will write that down. I was thinking if I should. Okay. I think I need to find a new app. This one's good, but like for some reason they like to pull very close numbers to each other. So 119 and 149. Okay. Let me make sure neither of those are a repeat. Okay. Um, I will look Go ahead and say both of those are ColourPop palettes, which, you know, I was super looking forward to doing different brands this month, especially considering I just had two ColourPop shadows already in there. But anyways, okay, I'll be right back with those palettes. Okay, everyone, I'm back. That was super easy because they're both ColourPop and they were both in the same spot. So, um, 119 was from the ColourPop palette, My Little Ray of Sunshine. So this one's interesting, it's one of the nine pans, but it is an all matte palette. So definitely getting a matte this round, which I have, it looks like I have two shimmers and four mattes, but hang on, let's take out the Okay, so technically right now I have two mattes and two shimmers. Um, this one will be another matte, so I'll have three mattes and two shimmers. But let's go ahead and um, randomly generate one through nine. Once again, I'm probably going to get a warm tone shade. Two. Okay, two surprisingly looks like the one that I have the most use on. It's called Vitamin D. So it's this second middle one up here. It's just a cool toned crease brown shade, pretty similar to the one I just rolled out. Let's see. Oh no, it's a lot lighter than the one I just rolled out. This is it right here. So, okay. That I might could use as like a lid setting shade actually. Like it's a little yellow toned. It's super powdery. I just put my hand in there and it's like going everywhere. <laughs> but there it is right there. Maybe I'll touch some of these other shades in here as well. But that's definitely the one I have the most use on. Okay. So there's the swatch. Okay. And next, this one's a bit more exciting. This is the Wild Nothing palette, still super neutral, but um, it does have shimmers and 
Oh no. One of the shades fell out of the pan. It's just the shade, not the pan. I think it's one of the super shocks because there were a few super shocks in here. Okay. I got it back in there and it fell as a whole. So <laughs> hopefully it's fine. There we go. It was this one that fell out, that second one. Um, there are two super shocks in here. That's one and that's one. I'm glad there's no glitters in this palette. But um, here's what the packaging looks like. Super cute. It's one of their older palettes. And it does have 12 shades. Has some mauves down here. A green shimmer, which would be super cool. And three of these light mattes. Um, I would love to get one of these super shock shades. So... 1 through 12 is what we're going to generate. 10, okay? All right, I always have to count even though I know which one it's going to be. Okay, it is one of these pink toned ones and it's a matte. So, that's going to be four mattes and two shimmers again, but that's okay. Um, it's hot springs down here. I know it looks like it has shimmers in it, but it's one of their sequin shades where it's a matte with glitter throughout it. But yeah, that'll be fun. I haven't had like a mauve color in a long time. It's called hot springs. And I do have brush marks on it. So I've definitely used it at least probably twice. So let's see. I know it's super fun to get like new brands of eyeshadows in here just so I know how long it takes to use them. But I am excited to get more use on some of these older ColourPop palettes. And I think I got two pretty good shades actually. So let me go ahead and swatch the full lineup so we can see how it looks together. I wish I knew how to speed up only parts of the video because I would speed this up, but I don't know how. Maybe one day I'll get like better at filming. Okay, almost done. Okay, once again, there will be progress pictures on at the end of this video, but let's go ahead and see what we have. Um, we have that Little Ray of Sunshine ColourPop palette in Vitamin D. We have this one from the Wow Nothing ColourPop palette. This is Hot Springs. This is from the Glam Light. Hershey Kiss Palette, um, Milk Chocolate, and No Shade Name. This is the Dr. Seuss um, Revolution Collection, No Shade Name. This is the Essence Night is Young Dancing Green Palette. And this is from ColourPop Blue Moon in the shade Daba D. Yeah, so there's the six shades. These two in the middle are the shimmers, and these two and these two are the mattes. So we'll see. Um, do I think I can hit any pans next month? I'm thinking this glam light one. Hopefully you can see that huge dip. And possibly this essence one, because it also has a big dip. Um, other than that, no, probably not, because I haven't been using this one. Unless I just use it like 15, 20 times this month because it's a revolution shade. They're like, the pan's like that shallow. So um, the blue moon one's not going anywhere anytime soon. So yeah, got this palette rolled in and this palette rolled in. So that'll be fun. We'll go ahead and get started using those. So here's the two palette, the two, color story side by side. They don't look much different actually, 
But that's all I have for this month, and I'll be back in another month with another update. Thanks for watching. Bye.